Meeting for May 1st, 2018. I call this meeting to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. Trustee Kammerer? Present. Carbonero? Here. Daney? Here. Cabrena? Here. Hopkins? Here. Rinky? Here. President Wallace? Here. We've requested um, Pastor Andrew Weiss from Faith World Outreach Church to our invocation this evening. Pastor Weiss. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight very grateful, Lord, for this community and for all your many blessings and, and your provisions for us, Lord. We ask tonight, Lord, for your guidance, for your direction, for your wisdom and your peace here, your protection on our community and those who serve and protect this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Weiss. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Brings us to our consent agenda this evening. All items listed with an asterisk will be considered enacted in one motion. Um, there will be no separate discussion on all items on the consent agenda. Is there anything anyone would like to add or remove from the consent at this point? Hearing okay, none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda, which includes the following. Bills list from May 1, 2018. The consent this evening will also include under Police and Health Committee, um, E1, resolution approving the, left, the live fire shooting house use agreement between the DuPage County Sheriff and the Village of Bartlett. The consent will also include, under Police and Health Committee, um, a resolution approving of the law enforcement agreement and order number one between the Village of Bartlett and LexisNexis Claims Solutions, Inc. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammer, second by Trustee Hopkins. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Rinke? Yes. Kammer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Cabrena? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Motion carries. The next item we have this evening is approval of our minutes from uh, public hearing and board and committee minutes from April 17, 2018. I'll entertain a motion to approve those minutes as delivered. So moved. Second. It's moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Abstain. Daney? Yes. Gabrenya? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Rinky? Yes. The motion carries. Next item we have this evening is a treasurer's report. There is none. Moves us to the president's report this evening. Um, the first thing, order of business for the president's report is the proclamation. Proclamation for National Police Week, uh, May 13 through May 19, 2018. Whereas the Congress and the President of the United States have designated May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which it falls as Police Week. And whereas the members of the Bartlett Police Department play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the citizens of Bartlett. And whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the duties and responsibilities of their police department, and that members of our police department recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence and disorder, and by protecting the innocent against the deception and the weak against oppression or intimidation. And whereas the Bartlett Police Department has grown to be a modern, scientific, and nationally accredited law enforcement agency, which unceasingly provides a vital public service. Now, therefore, I, Kevin Wallace, Village President, call upon all citizens of Bartlett and upon all patriotic, civil, and educational organizations to observe the week of May 13 through May 19 as Police Week with appropriate ceremonies in which all of our people may join in commemorating police officers, past and present, who by their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities have rendered a dedicated service to their communities and in doing so, have established for themselves an inviolable and enduring reputation for preserving the rights and security of all citizens. I further call upon all citizens of Bartlett to observe Tuesday, May 15, as Pe Peace Officers Memorial Day, to honor those officer, peace officers who, through their courageous deeds, have lost their lives or have become disabled in a performance of duty. And let us recognize and pay respect to the survivors of our fallen heroes, dated this first day of May 
2018, I do so proclaim. Next item this evening uh, under the President's report is the bike, National Bike Month Proclamation. <coughs> Recognizing May 2018 as Bike Month, whereas for more than a century, the bicycle has been an important part of the lives of most Americans, and whereas today, millions of Americans engage in bicycling because it is a viable and environmentally sound form of transportation, an excellent form of fitness, and provides quality family recreation. And whereas the Village of Bartlett's Bike and Run Advisory Committee promotes safe bike and pedestrian activities on the village's bike path system, and whereas Ride Illinois is educating cyclists and motorists as to the proper and safe operation of bicycles at www.bikesafetyquiz.com, and whereas the Village of Bartlett and the Bar Bartlett Park District and the DuPage County Forest Preserve and independent cyclists throughout our village are promoting greater public awareness of bicycle operations and safety education in an effort to reduce accidents, injuries, and fatalities for all. Now, therefore, I, Kevin Wallace, Village President of the B Village of Bartlett, Cook, DuPage, and Kane Counties, Illinois, do hereby pro proudly proclaim the month of May 2018 as Bike Month in Bartlett, dated this first day of May 2018. I do so proclaim. <coughs> <How's that mouth? coughs> Any questions anybody has for the staff? Hearing none, we'll move on to the town hall portion of the meeting. Um, if anyone <coughs> would like to address the board, please step up to the podium. State your, state your name and address for the record. Uh, attempt to keep your comments to three minutes. Would anybody like to address the board at this time? Good evening. Hi. I'm John Eleonardo with Frederick Quinn Company. I'm here just to briefly talk about our progress since last month on the construction of the new police station. We are 21, 23 days away from the police department moving into phase one of the project. And on the inside of the building, we took uh, uh, Trustee Carmenaro and Trustee Danny for a, a walkthrough just a little while ago. Um, carpet, doors, windows, plumbing fixtures, um, trim, wallpaper, all those things are being installed on the inside of the building as we finish uh, tying those things up and then tying up the mechanical systems of the building. So over the course of uh, the next three weeks, those things will be completed um, and the building will get set up for moving by the police department. Uh, we're expecting the first delivery of furniture from the uh, furniture vendor on Friday with another uh, delivery of furniture to follow the 18th of May. So we're moving right along with uh, the, the progress. Again, it, it remains a very busy place inside, uh, but the guys are, everyone there is working very hard and making good progress. So be happy to answer any questions you have with regards to the project. It's been a couple months since I've gone through that and I was just thoroughly taken back at how much progress you've made. I cannot believe that uh, the, just the difference in the two months that uh, it's been since I went through there. And uh, you have a lot of work ahead of you to finish in the next 23 days. But based on what I've seen and the accomplishments you've made over the last two months, I have no doubt you'll make that in the next 23, years, uh, 23 days. So I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to go through there with Vince. And uh, if any of the trustees have an opportunity to take a look at that building before it's completed, you know, take advantage of it and you'll really be impressed. Thank you again. I'd just like to say that uh, hopefully at the appropriate time, uh, Jeff Field, our project manager, and some of the leaders, the people who actually do the work in the field, will have an opportunity to meet you and get the credit that they deserve because the work is being done by them and they're leading the progress. I, so hopefully you'll get a chance to meet them too. Thank you. Sorry, Good night. Sorry you take credit for it. Well, let's <laughs> take away. get to do that. Sometimes I get to go to dinner too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Would anyone else like to address the board at this time? And then we'll move on to the next item on our agenda this evening, which is the Standing Committee Reports. First Standing Committee Report this evening is the Building and Zoning Committee, Chairman Hopkins. Thank you, President Wallace. There is nothing to report under Building and Zoning tonight. Thank you, Chairman Hopkins. Next item under Standing Committee Reports this evening is our Community and Economic Development Committee, Chairman Gabrenya. Mr. President, we have one item on our committee agenda today. Um, in an, should I start? In an effort to help make the village more attractive to new businesses, existing businesses wishing to expand and developers with interest in investing in vacant properties and or constructing new buildings, the village board has approved a new line item 
in the bu budget titled Economic Incentives. We were, the staff presented this line item at the budget meeting on March 14th, and we as a board directed the staff to present a program with specific parameters for the disbursement of these funds. The staff is proposing the Bartlett Economic Development Assistance Program created as a reimbursement program targeting sales tax generating businesses. The program was presented to the Economic Development Commission at its April meeting, at which time the EDC recommended it for approval. I would like to make a motion that we, that uh, I would move that to approve the Bartlett Economic Development Assistance Program in an effort to enhance the village's ability to offer incentives to assist new businesses, investment, and defray the costs of construction, relocation, or rehabilitation for new and existing businesses. Second. Seconded by Trustee Garenya, seconded by Trustee Kammerer. Um, do you have some any discussion? Well, I feel that I, um, I should bring up that we've had some concern emailed to us and uh, uh, by a member of the EDC uh, concerning some of her concerns. <clears throat> And uh, uh, I don't know, it's very lengthy email. It, it's, it's basically, uh, do you have anything that you want to say with regards to this or not? I don't, I don't know what else to, just there were some objections. Maybe Scott. I would ask, I would say to Scott that I, um, that I had had some questions as well. And um, I think that the, the person that wrote the email had questions in regard to specific specifics. I think they were all answered from what I see. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot, it, of, a lot of the staff is really a lot of, con of the concerns raised in the email were also raised at the EDC committee meeting. Um, and some of those um, clarifications were added into the process. Um, and I would also say that a lot of the uh, concerns raised were about the uh, criteria used to establish right. um, the rebate and um, those were largely based on the metrics that the EDC had um, earlier created for our uh, marketing program so we've kind of looked at those used those as a basis for the um, uh, criteria that we're using here um, some of the the metrics that we're using to kind of weigh the, the proposals um, I think um, speak to some of her concerns. Well, I just want to make sure that she felt that we at least brought up the concerns that she had, had and I knew that, that, that staff had been addressing that all along. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all I can, ex all I can expect. For Good. the benefit of the board, do you want to talk about that process at all? Does the board want to hear what that process is? I read it. I think just for the record, I think we should just give a quick rundown of the process. Sure. Well, as noted in the memo, the process really, um, really the, the main goal of this process is to enhance business development and retention in the community, um, while at the same time hitting some of those key factors in the board's strategic plan, as well as the TOD plan. Um, a lot of other communities do have similar programs uh, to incentivize businesses. And I think that uh, the board approving this line item will really help uh, the uh, competitive market. Um, as Tony would say, economic development is a competitive sport. And I think this really makes us a great team. And uh, we're happy to answer any questions that you, that you have. Um, I would just note that the application process um, has a pre-meeting with the staff so that the business owner can sit down with um, the economic development team and walk through their application. Um, make sure that they're applying for things that actually fall under the program, um, help get their documentation together, um, and then that packet will go to the EDC for review, um, and, one, and they will make their recommendation to the board that has the final approval on the rebate. Um, I would also uh, <clears throat> um, note that it's available both to new and existing businesses, um, and we're... Um, taking those funds from the um, video gaming um, line items. So 
Um, if you recall from our budget discussions, that's the funding source for it. Um, also, I would um, point out that this is, you know, a, a pilot program. It's our first year, and I would imagine that they'd be, there would be some tweaking following, and well, we'll see how it goes. Thank you. So Thank what you're saying, in essence, is it's not automatic. No. You know, it'd have to come before the, uh, the staff, then it goes before re review again by the EDC, and then again before the village board before any action is taken. Would it come directly to the board or will it go to our committee first? Um, I would imagine it going to committee if you had some questions and you'd have the opportunity to kind of ask a little more detailed or if there was additional information that you thought you would need. So I'm envisioning it going from EDC to committee to board. So there's like a four step process in, in all this. Yeah. Well, that's how we, that is how we used to do the um, TIF rebate program. That was the same steps, so we just kept that. Thank you. I would just applaud the staff. I know we had, as a board, um, requested some time back ways to um, earmark video gaming funds in a very productive fashion, and I don't know that there's a better way to do that than this way, as far as economic development and the development of um, retail sales tax. So. Very well done. Is there any other comments or questions? Hearing none, Mother Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Brenya? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Rinky? Yes. Kammerer? Yes. A motion carries. Thank you, uh, tr uh, Chairman Gabrenya. Uh, next item we have this evening, um, Standing Committee Reports is Finance and Golf Committee, Chairman Daney. Mr. President, thankfully, there's nothing on the agenda this evening. Thank you, Chairman Daney. Um, next item we have this evening, Understanding Committee Reports is License and Ordinance Committee, Chairman Kammerer. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this evening we have the uh, appointment of the village officers and the village president with the advice and consent of the board. That being said, um, I think the next item is the appointment of the village president with the advice and consent, the consent of the board of the following officers, the village administrator. The village that, that those appointments should really be made by the village president. Okay. And then the board moves the consent. So then we'll the appointments. We Otherwise, you're them. repeating that twice. Okay, we don't need to repeat it twice. Does anybody have any issues with reading them all? Uh, good. All right. Um, I move to appoint the following positions. Village offices. Or offices, sorry. Technical. I move to appoint the following offices to the Village of Bartlett. Um, village Administrator Paula Schumacher, um, Village Attorney Brian Mraz, Village Treasurer Todd Dowden, Village Budget Officer Todd Dowden, Director of Public Works Daniel Dingus, Director of Building Department Brian Gorowski, Electrical Inspector William Detmer, Plumbing Inspector Dwayne Burns, Chief of Police Patrick Ulrich, Village Engineer uh, Robert Allen, Administrator Hearing Officer Thomas Bastian, Open Meetings Act Officer Paula Schumacher, Freedom of Information Acts Officer James Plazinski, and Paula Schumacher in his absence. So I need a motion to consent to those appointments. I entertain a motion to consent to those appointments. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Daney, seconded by Trustee Carbonero. With the clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Daney? Yes. Cabrena? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Ranky? Yes. Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. The motion carries. All right. Uh, the next step would be that uh, to move to, con to consent to the appointment of each of the officers as made by the village president, and that motion. We've done that. We did that. We've done that. All right. Got okay. So uh, the next one is the uh, designation. Board. Designation of the board of trustees as zoning administrator. Which one is it? So that's at the bottom there, yep. number two. So James you can make that good. motion. That is not the mayor's appointment. So we need to make a motion on that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Then I would move that uh, uh, we make a motion for the designation of the board of trustees of a zoning administrator. As. You have to name him, Jim Blazinski. Oh, James Blazinski. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammerer, seconded by Trustee Daney. Will the clerk please call the roll? 
Trustee Gabrenia? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Rinky? Yes. Cameron? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Number three? I thought we just covered. Now there's three more. Backside. Where are we at here? Uh, on the back. All right, now we have a resolution approving the professional service agreement between the Village of Bartman and Brian E. Moraz and Associates PC. So we need a, mo uh, a motion. So I'd make a motion that uh, we have the resolution approving the professional service agreement between Village of Bartman and Brian E. Moraz and Associates PC. I'll second that. Moved by Trustee Kammer, seconded by Trustee Daney. Will the clerk please call the roll? Okay, that is resolution 2018-53. Um, Trustee Hopkins? Yes. Ranky? Yes. Cameron? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Gabrenia? Yes. Motion carries. All right. What's the next one? 2018. Hey, we've only done this at once. Yeah. 2018, 55? 54. 54. All right. Next item is I'd make a motion re a resolution approving the professional service agreement between the Village of Bartlett and Law Offices of Robert J. Krupp, PC. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammer, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Um, I should be giving people an opportunity for discussion in between these, so I apologize if anybody had any discussion. Does anybody have any discussion? No. Hearing none, clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Ranke? Yes. Kammer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Gabrenia? Yes. Hopkins. Yes. That motion carries. All right. Next item would be the, uh, make a motion of 2018-55, the resolution approving of the professional service agreement between the Village of Bartlett and the law firm of Strino, Romello, and Durkin. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammer, seconded by Trustee Daney. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Daney? Yes. Gabrenia? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Ranky? Yes. A motion carries. <coughs> I think you're done, Mike. All right. Finally. I think we're done. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chairman Kammerer. Next item under standing committee reports this evening is Police and Health Committee, Chairman Carbonero. Mr. President, both items were covered under the consent agenda. Thank you, Nothing. Chairman Carbonero. Finally, on our standing committee report, Public <coughs> Works Committee, Chairman Ranke. Thank you, Mr. President. We have nothing additional tonight. Thank you, Chairman Ranke. Next item on the agenda this evening is new business. Does anybody have any new business they would like I to have uh, a couple of questions or a couple of comments that I'd like to make. Is it new, new business? Yeah, it's new business. Okay. Right. The first thing is, is the uh, chamber I found out today the chamber golf outing is actually the 21st, so we're safe for the artist's ribbon cutting on the 16th. And uh, the Memorial Day walk, did you get a response from uh, Scott? Did you get responses from the trustee on, on the Memorial Day walk? Okay, and uh, we're in on that. And I wanted to, uh, I'd like to know, the Hanover Township today, they had a, a, it was called, it wasn't called Student Government Day, it was called something else. But uh, they worked in conjunction with Streamwood High School. And I know that we used to do something like that where students would come to the village and uh, they would have a mock uh, uh, village hall meeting and whatnot and uh, they do some other things with the village. I'm not exactly sure how it worked, but uh, do we conduct that anymore? Do we do anything like that anymore? And if we do not, why don't we consider moving in that direction? Um, we, you're, you're correct. We did do it a number of years ago when I was an intern. That was one of my projects was coordinating that. Um, what we have um, now that we offer to the high school it, um, or the two high schools that our students go to is the um, Students Police Academy. And we also are um, the pilot for uh, Bartlett High School's um, STEM internship program this summer. So we, we have a few more formalized programs, um, but if you'd like us to do a student government day, uh, there's, I always love to talk about what I do. 
Yeah, well, I don't know how the other board members feel, but I'd sure like to see something like that. I think it's a great way to have students involved in government, you know, and uh, and uh, just uh, just to have them, you know, so they have an opportunity of learning, you know, what exactly happens here with the village and one. I think it'd be a great idea. So, sure. but I don't know how the other board members feel. I'm not sure what it would look like, but I'm all for it if it's educating young kids about getting involved. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we can we can put together a program and have you take a look at it and see if it's something you'd like to do. Would that would you you remember when they used to have that right? Was that when like all the kids went in the same classroom? Yeah, that's when we had one teacher and she taught uh, first grade through eighth. <laughs> Anything else for new business? No, I'm done now. Any other new business that anyone would like to discuss? Any questions? I do have a question directed um, towards Brian. In, in light of the fact we're talking about a, a, another gaming facility today in our committee meeting, at this moment, at this point in my estimation, we have gaming specific uh, businesses located in most of the reaches of the village, and then this one being proposed in, in the middle of town, in, in the downtown area. Do we have a limit on how many of these we have, or is there the possibility of putting a limit on gaming specific businesses? The short answer is no. no. The long answer, I had done a memo before that I would send to you. Um, there are towns who tried to set some limits um, and were sued. One of the things is there's no good way to define those geographic areas. Um, you could look at maybe so, you know, <clears throat> so many, a distance between them. Again, um, there's different levels of discretion that you have. Um, you have to create the liquor license, so you, the board has discretion on whether or not to commit to create the license. There's the granting of a special use permit to serve liquor that they have to have, and we've modified our application process that if they're going to ask for uh, video gaming, they have to tell us. So when you're voting on whether or not to create the license, know whether or not they're going to apply and they have been up front and said we're going to apply because under the state law once they have their liquor license they're entitled to a state gaming license and then we're hard pressed to deny a video gaming license if the state has awarded a video gaming license so some of these things build on each other we looked at some restrictions when in the beginning we were very worried uh, that we were going to have a slew of these um, yeah, so we required, um, you know, there were some size limits. We looked at we commercial look at, kitchens. We could start looking at maybe requiring a commercial kitchen. So one of the things that we turned one down across the street in the same shopping center, and that was, I think, proposed by like an offshoot of A&W Root Beer, and it was very, uh, you know, microwave food. There was no real food preparation you know, off-site. Now, some of the ones we've had in town, they have a modified version of that, and they're fairly successful and a little higher end, but that particular one was not. And the board turned it down despite those things, and there was never anything more that became of it. So we've talked about various ways to amend the ordinances, but there are some limits upon what we can do. In just terms of a flat-out number, you can limit liquor licenses. I, I think you're hard pressed to just say there's only so many video gaming. There could be, I've seen towns try and define an undue concentration and then the, uh, really the issue and, and the trick is how to define what's in, I forgot what the term was, it was in a memo I mentioned to the board before a couple of years ago. But the idea being there shouldn't be a high concentration in a particular area and in particular you know you might say the downtown area but you know that's something we could explore and so the mayor mentioned commercial kitchens and what we're trying to get away from there is just that uh, no real food but try and limit it to people uh, 
and we did a map of where the existing bars were that could get them uh, because they already had that option having a liquor license and where potentially there could be others and not all of our businesses that have had liquor licenses have opted to have them in fact some have put them in and taken them out it's not quite the money maker that they thought so there are some limits uh, we could look at that again we talked about options and didn't go that next yard and it turned out not to be as big a problem as we thought so, you know. and if, if we want to be proactive on the on the if we want to be proactive on this then do we ask the staff to put something like that together village yeah. president do you ask them to do that well we can so that we have a better understanding of where we are where we're going yeah what we would do i think would be the best route to take is review what we've already researched mm -hmm. because we have new board members so that would be our first step um, in slowing down the race um, so uh, i would just uh, suggest that when we're finished with our committee discussion that the next step not be moving it to board but moving that discussion to the to the committee again okay. about how many of these we're going to try to prop propagate admittedly when i looked last it was a couple years ago that there has been thing have been some things that have happened in other towns with them and things so i would like to refresh that so we'll we'll, re yeah. I would like that. we'll we'll make that when we go through that on committee thank you yep anything else We'll be moving directly into the committee of the whole meeting after this meeting, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Ganey, seconded by Trustee Hopkins. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Kammer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Ganey? Yes. Cabrena? Yes. Hopkins? Yes. Rinky? Yes.